Hey guys, welcome to a new review. This time I'm reviewing my Walking Dead Tyrese custom figure. Now, you may not be able to pick off what's the custom part of him yet, but if you've been following my videos, you would know immediately. See, what I did was updated his articulation. See that? Yep. And I also had to add a new loop, which is better. And since I lost his hammer a long time ago, I gave him a new hammer. So I'll show those off in a second, but just so you guys know, he has a really good face paint. I made sure that I didn't use one that had no likeness to the actor. And I think that looks good. So, the only things that I changed were the pants. I had to add this uh, extra piece of shirt back here, which actually kind of matches up rather fluently. You can't really tell that this is a separate part from this. Yeah, I think that looks good. And, yeah. So let's take a look at the stuff here. First, the hammer I got at Michael's. It was in that... There's a little section that has a bunch of miniatures. They had, like, a bunch of tools in one little baggie for, like, two bucks. And I got this one. It's not going to break because it's solid metal. And it pretty much looks nice. I think this is perfect for filling in for the hammer that broke. I mean, it probably, it's not completely accurate because his was extremely thin, but I wouldn't want it to be thin because then it would break. It looks better this way. Okay, now let's get to the extra stuff. See, here's the belt loop that I put in, and it can hang his hammer in it. And I think that looks rather nice. Sits there well, and it doesn't completely hinder the articulation there. But if you do have the hammer in there, it does a little bit. But then let's take that out for showing off the articulation. He can do the splits now. See that? And another thing that's great is he can stand, because those original legs just can't stand all that well. You have to fidget with them for like 20 minutes to finally get them to stand up. Whereas these legs, he can just stand up with most poses that you set him in. You just have to make sure his two feet are planted on the ground. I think the other one, because of its lack of articulation and the weird form of his body that it gave him, it was top-heavy and leaning forward a bit no matter what you did, and that's why it would fall over all the time, whereas these legs don't have that problem. Okay, so I painted it. Let's take a quick look at the paint before I show off all the articulation. There we go, focus. A little bit of focus. Okay. Yeah, and I think it's rather nicely painted. If I do say so myself. Not to sound like an egomaniac. And I think uh, this is Abraham's bottom half here. I think this works perfectly with him because it has the right amount of bagginess. It has the shoes that look pretty much the same. And it's thick enough for his big frame. Whereas if you like took Gareth's legs and put it on him, it would look funny actually. I'd want to see what that would look like just to laugh at it and point fingers and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd probably kill me. My action figures come to life at night. It's true. I'm not insane. They do. Okay. So he can kick forward now, which is pretty easy. And that's rather nice. He can kick backwards. His knees can bend a little bit better than the originals. And he has swivel at the bottoms. So just the Abraham articulation, but on a Tyrese. It's really nice. Of course, there's no waist swivel because the part that was on here was uh, way too small for the opening here. So I had to kind of like glue that together. And I'm okay with that because most of these figures don't have waist swivel anyway. Especially, I believe he didn't really have a uh, workable waist swivel, so I don't cry about that one. In fact, let me grab a car here to finish this off so that I can show you guys if he can sit down. This actually, I haven't tested this before, so this will be a surprise for all of us. Oh yeah, he can definitely sit down, I can tell already. Oh yeah, he's going to be driving all my vehicles, look at that. Did Tyrese ever drive a vehicle? I don't think we actually saw Tyrese driving a vehicle. That's weird. But he looks really natural in there. And see, that's what I really wanted. A figure that's able to sit down is pretty much the best figure. 
I just, if a figure can't sit down, that's a limitation. I don't like when action figures come with limitations. So, what do you guys think of my custom? You a fan? You hate it? Whatevs. Make sure to comment it. Make sure to give me some rec uh, suggestions on what I should do for another custom. I really could use some advice. I don't know. But make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure to follow my other videos. Make sure to check out my previous videos. I've got some doozies there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.